everybody, and welcome to Bazaar Shopping Network. My name is Kim, and I am here at the Bazaar where we are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 10 to 3. So love is definitely in the air. Valentine's Day is like, what, next week? It is going to be here before you know it. And we have so many great items to show you that is perfect for your loved ones, your family, your girlfriends. Valentine's Day is a thing. So let's show everybody we know that you love them with some awesome things that you can find here at the Bazaar. Starting with, how cute is this? It is a red cat from Diane Bunker with the Serendipity Group. She does, can you see the detailing in here? It is unbelievable. This is only $25. So cute. She's got all sorts of little kitties that she brought in. So maybe you're buying a gift for your cat and it needs a new friend or anybody that loves cats. This is a cute, adorable red kitten from Diane Bunker with the Serendipity Group. And while I'm talking about the Serendipity Group, I am totally obsessed with this bouquet. These are hand knitted flowers and they come in a vase and the vase is also from one of the artists here at the Ser Serendipity Group. It's got the little, can you see the little Valentine's Day note on it already? So beautiful. They are, let's see, $75 from Annie. And I am gonna go to my close up here so you can see like the detail and how these are made. Hand knitted. So an entire bouquet of, I mean, they're like wildflowers, they're gorgeous, for $75. While I'm on the close up, we've got some other really great finds. These heart keychains from Simone Mandalas. I think I'm pronouncing that right. She's got a whole selection of heart keychains. Oh my gosh, they're only $8. This would be such a cute gift. Really easy to mail, just stick it in an envelope. They're lightweight. Then she has some bigger ones. And I don't know if any of y'all have tried to paint. I can't even imagine the amount of time it takes to create these. These are a little bit heavier weight. They are $20. She's got this one here. So pretty. Hand painted, no two are alike. Mandalas from Simone at the Serendipity Group. And this one is also $20. Absolutely beautiful. And while I'm here, check this heart out. It is adorned with shells. All beautiful seashells on this heart. $24. This is from Donna B, who is also with the Serendipity Group. So beautiful. The Serendipity Group is one of our Bazaar family members that within their space, there are 20 different artists just in that one space and everything in their booth is hand done, handmade, one of a kind. These, okay, we love Hallmark, yada, 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 right? They created a lot of great holidays, so we're grateful for that, but when you truly, truly care to send the very best, you're gonna want something unique, original, that you can't find everywhere. Check these out. These are fabric cards. One of a kind, absolutely stunning. Beautiful fabric cards. Here's another one. There's a whole selection of them. They are blank on the inside, so you can write your own message. The detail, they've got sparkles, they've got fabric. Truly stunning. And you know what I just thought? When the person is done with these, you could put these in a frame and then you have a piece of art. They are that gorgeous. I hope you're getting the detail. 
I think you're getting the detail. There is an entire box of these beautiful cards that are in the serendipity group. They are $15 each. And when you think about it, you end up with a piece of art for only $15. That's crazy. And let's see. We love our girl Blanca with the custom pillows. And we couldn't not have love is in the air without showing her pillows. Can't you imagine just snuggling up on the couch with your loved one? It has pom-poms. How adorable. There's a set of these, they're custom, $30 each, solid red on the back. It's really soft, I think it's velvet. Really great pillow with the pom-pom. So cute, so those are from Blanca at $30. I can't see the comments today, so I've got Susie over here. Anything I need to worry about? Thanks, Susie. I love it. <laughs> the, um, so those are pillows oops, from Blanca. And back to cards. Cards are really important to send out anytime. You know, we get a lot of email. And y'all, I don't know about you, but my inbox gets really filled and overwhelming. And there's nothing like getting something in the mail that's not a bill. Having that personal touch is just amazing. So our girl Gypsy Gardner has taken her art, turned it into cards, and they are specific for Valentine's. And she's partnered with a good friend of hers that she knew way back in the day. She can tell you the story, but check out these beautiful cards from the Gypsy Gardener. Then there is you. This is a thank you for sisters. Rad love. This is all original art, y'all. This is my favorite. In all the ways that matter, you are the bomb diggity goddess. Gorgeous artwork. So much better than a lame Hallmark card. Original art from the Gypsy Gardener. Truly, when you want to send the very best, you're going to come here and get a card from one of our amazing artists. And you can also always add little gifts inside those cards. Check out these earrings from H&M. They are only $16.00. Beautiful earrings. She's got all sorts of different colors. Red, pink, silver. Great gift. Here's a little purple one. Only $16 because you can never have too much sparkle in your life. And really important, if you didn't know, it's opening night tonight at the Players. They are putting on a new show called In Love with Shakespeare. And speaking of players, check out my dress. You know you want it. I'm convinced that a man has done the pricing in there. No offense to men out there, but this formal gown, vintage, gorgeous, $7. Come on, players, you can get more money for this. And it's been seen on Bizarre Shopping Network, so doesn't that like double the value? So the Players Center has tons of great things in their booth, but they also are doing a show outside in our courtyard. And I had the privilege of interviewing one of the actors. So I am going to show you an interview that we did this morning. Hi, Carrie. Welcome to the BSN episode. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. So tonight is opening night and you are one of the stars of the show. Tell us a little bit about the show and why we should come. Um, In Love with Shakespeare, directed by Elliot Raines, is a collection of wooing scenes by Shakespeare. Uh, we've pieced together a few different scenes and some monologues to create a one act just under an hour, appropriate for children, running from the 4th through the 14th at the Bazaar. <laughs> and what parts do you play? I am playing Catherine from Taming of the Shrew and Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. So what has been some of the fun parts of rehearsing here at the Bazaar? 
Um, it's always interesting to do outdoor theater. You're dealing with the elements. Um, it's a beautiful space. I love that we get the, all of the theater people together um, at the the players theater, you know, the crew and everything is kind of random, but you don't see everybody all around you all the time. And here there is that sense of how much of the unit we are as a family. And I really like that in any production. Um, you're dealing with the weather. <laughs> we're dealing with outside sounds. Uh, but all in all, we're doing theater and I'm not going to complain ever about the opportunity to do what I love the most. And what other shows have you done? I've done several shows with Elliot. I think this is my sixth with him. It's my first at the Bazaar. I believe it's my ninth with the players. I actually am from Canada originally, and I went to theater school in New York, went to LA for a while, went back to New York, got married, had children, moved to Sarasota, and I'm back in the theater, so. Welcome back. <laughs> and I hear that Jim Floyd, who was in Christmas Carol, mm -hmm. is returning to this show. What parts does he play? Jim is Petruchio in Timing of the Shrew. He is Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, and he is Richard III in Richard III. So how many different Shakespeare shows are being shown tonight? It would be four. Um, however, not just bits and pieces of four. <laughs> and is there more comedy or more tragedy? Or more comedy, definitely. It is a loving, it is a love show in love with Shakespeare. It is a collection of wooing scenes. Um, you may not think that wooing is necessarily what it is. It is a, the director's interpretation on that as well as Shakespeare, as well as the actors with anything theater, it's a collaboration of all of the artists together. I'm really proud of this show. And even though I was rushed into rehearsals, um, I wasn't actually in the show from the beginning. Um, I replaced two of the actresses, <laughs> which is a very fast rehearsal process for Shakespeare, especially because Shakespeare is something that you could never have enough rehearsal time, I feel like. Um, but I'm really proud of it. I think, we're, think it's gonna be really well received. The set is beautiful. The costumes are wonderful. The space is incredible. It's a small group of actors who have worked together several times before, as well as with the director. And um, it's great for children. It's educational. It's fun. Well, we are so excited. And <laughs> thank too. you for joining us. I'm gonna show everybody a very rough version of the set. Obviously, it is not fully set up right now and it is super bright so hopefully you can see how cool this set is here on our bizarre stage their shows so far have been amazing so oh look there's the balcony that's where juliet's gonna go on so everybody get your tickets they are available now for only twenty dollars thanks carrie It is so amazing how they have taken the outside area and completely turned it into a Shakespeare scene. I'm so excited to see the show. It runs tonight through Valentine's Day. You can get your tickets directly by calling them. Their number's on the screen here. It's a one hour show. They have heat um, blankets, so bundle up if it's chilly. And a reminder, Hamlet's Eatery is open this week until 7 p.m. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Hamlet's Eatery will be open 11 to 7, so you can come for a dinner and stay for the show. How amazing is that? We just love having the player center part of the family. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to end this episode they sent me a little snippet from the rehearsal last night, so I am going to show you a scene from The Taming of the Shrew, which is part of the show tonight. Enjoy! We'll see you soon. A joint stool! Oh, well thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you. If me you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee, for knowing thee to be but young and light. I'm too light for such a swine as you to catch, and yet 
as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. Well, take then, like a buzzard. Oh, slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? I for a turtle, as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp, in faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aha! If a fool could find where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. And so, farewell. What? With my tongue in your tail? Did y'all recognize that actor? He is the same actor who was in A Christmas Carol. We're so excited to have such talent on our stage. So that's what we've got here right now on Bazaar Shopping Network, episode 59. Come on in, see us. We love having you visit, and we're so grateful for your support. Happy almost Valentine's Day.